Right, we're going to take a look at the Infrared Finder FH35R V2 Thermal Monocular. Now this is currently on offer on our website, Blackwood Outdoors, and it's a cracking deal, to be fair, for what you actually get for the money. Previously, this unit retailed around 2599 It's currently on offer for 1399 which is a massive price drop, and in that price bracket for what you get, there's nothing really that offers the performance and features for that price point. So we'll go into them features, etc. now and have a look at the unit itself. External packaging, as you can see, it's all nicely branded there. You get all the presentation of the finder itself on the box. You do get your instruction manual like you do with most units. And you get a little padded carry case. Now this little padded carry case within it, you get the unit. You get a couple of charger cables, or should I say, one is a micro HDMI and one is a USB-C to USB 2 that allows you to download from the device or externally power it if you need to. That is a micro HDMI, so that connects into the device. You could plug that into a monitor and get a full HDMI output from your device to your monitor. Within here also, you've got a charger plug and hand strap if you're going to put a hand strap on the side of the unit and you also get your charger dock which is what we're going to talk about now so two individual battery cells come with the unit we'll show you that in a minute these are charged within the dock you have an individual status indicator on that dock for each battery cell usb-c connects in the back of it so that's basically all the little bits you get in the case itself for the unit so Battery, pop that out, that cap, that latch, turn a quarter of a turn, pull it out, and you get two of these batteries with the unit. Now, these operate the device for around about four hours, give us a, it might be slightly longer, slightly less, depending if you're using the Wi Fi and if you're operating the LRF constantly. This will power the LRF right until the death of the unit, so you're not having to sort of change it out mid, mid use. And you get two of them, like I say, they're a proprietary style battery front of the device you have your lens cap it's a magnetic style lens cap so it's sort of soft closure and that rotates fully around the fold of 360 on the lens to position it where you want and you can just flip it underneath if you wanted to remove that lens you could but you would need to basically undo that bezel and then pop it out and put the bezel back on the lens is an f 0.9 so what that means is it is slightly faster than an f1 so the lower the f stop you're going to get um, a larger aperture to allow more infrared transmission into the sensor so that f0.9 is a good thing because it's slightly wider in diameter and it lets better transmission like i say through to the sensor most standards these days are f1 germanium lenses but this is an f0.9 so it is slightly faster as i said which is a good thing the unit itself is a horizontal style so it's a bit like a quantum style design more modernized but familiar in the hand to some some prefer these styles some don't the hand strap goes on that side buttons to me all fall handy to my layout so you can press the buttons to activate different features on there uh, the back one will allow you to record Centre one will activate your menu where you've got your colour palette, um, you've got your digital magnification etc on there. Uh, this one is the mode button, keep that held in and it will activate your, your menu button. Sorry, got that the wrong way around, that's your laser rangefinder button there, single press. So laser rangefinder, you have two functions, one will display one dot, the other will display three dots. Three dots is scan mode, one dot is single LRF activation. To remove the aim point marker for the LRF, once you've activated it, you press a single press of the power button and it removes it from the screen. The LRF itself is at the front, so you've got your sender, which bounces your laser splash off the object and it comes back and hits the receiver. Handy having an LRF in this little unit because it does everything in a small compact package. The sensor is a 640 resolution, 12 micron, 20 mk net d so it's really good performance for like i say the device the lens the sensor everything you're getting it's high performance for a very low price price point it's that 
diopter adjustments at the back so that adjusts for your individual prescription on your eye you do have an eye display uh, sensor sorry should i say at the back there so that what that does it'll turn off the eye display if it's not near your face and then when you put it back on it will turn the display back on i don't activate that feature personally because i'm not really that keen on it because i just basically leave it on and it's there straight away without having a slight delay uh, the rubber eye cup at the back sh that shades any ambient light getting in like daytime use and if you wear glasses it flicks around and it holds back quite nicely so you can get your eye right close with glasses so yeah that is the finder fh35 v2 like i say currently got it on offer for me looking at it the features that appeal and i would say stand out for the unit are f0.9 lens 640 resolution 20 mk sensor inbuilt lrf auto eye display off if you use that feature replaceable battery system and for some users who want a vehicle mount uh, you've got a full hdmi output there which most units do not have this feature at all and it's got a horizontal sort of tripod mount if you wanted to mount that under uh, a mount for a vehicle to scan around with yeah it's, it's a compact little unit you can attach an extra strap on the side there as well so yeah we have sold an absolute boatload of these purely because of the performance and the price 1399 was 2599 still got some left in stock we have more coming but definitely worth looking at if you're in the market for something like this a nice compact unit infrared finder there you go over and out